Uber, Bitcoin, self-driving cars. Combine those three together, and you have the self-owning taxi. A car that is a corporation that owns itself, pays for the car lease, the car insurance, and the gasoline from the revenues it makes, giving passengers a ride, and there's not a single human involved in that matter. Going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go, but clearly we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy, and it will be one that is more leveraged to technology, and I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box. Uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to eight percent of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity as an American, you know. Uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of the huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we could have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial s seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. Chinese bank ICBC has been hit by a ransomware attack, and the U.S. Treasury market, as a result of that, um, has been disrupted. This, according to the Financial Times, we're going to get more right now with Bloomberg's Shanali Basic. Shanali, what do we know? Uh, listen, we have the Financial Times now reporting that ICBC, one of China's largest banks here, was hit with a ransomware attack. And remember, they're a, a, a very significant intermediary in the Treasury market. The SIFMA has told his members that this has been part of the reason here uh, that the system is kind of clogged up, if you will, during that auction that we saw a little bit before. The attack had prevented ICBC, according to the Financial Times, from settling treasury trades on behalf of other market participants. A large executive at a major bank also telling the paper that such a large party on the fixed income clearing corp uh, creates major concerns, potentially impacting the liquidity of treasury markets. Now it was not just the poor auction. It was absolutely lousy, and, and uh, uh, you know, when, when the dealers have to step in to save a treasury auction, uh, that's a rare occurrence. And Welcome to the Crypto Teacher, and guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. 
It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works, because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New Road Order book shows you how the world really works, and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. Now, guys, I told you in 2023, in the first quarter, we would get an event, and now we have the banking collapse, which the master magicians pulled off the perfect distraction. And at the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, guys, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, the markets will still pump and dump until we get that next crisis. Guys, we know they're going to pull that rug. And all we have to do is watch the Fed to know exactly when that's about to happen. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And we had Bitcoin and crypto pulling back and then getting a pump. As I'm doing this video, we are pulling back slightly. Now we have Bitcoin transaction fees flip Ethereum as Bitcoin ordinals height return. Now we had NVIDIA and Microsoft stock reach an all-time highs amid AI CEO shuffle. And guys, if you're part of my stock Patreon channel, I told you that the run is about to end. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now make sure you're paying attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates down. We have the dollar down. We have volume and crypto up. We have Tether, USDC, and TUSD. Now we have Tether's bank partner, Britannia, sued over $1 billion deposit says that it failed to pay the full price of revenue on the generating asset. And guys, we have a lot of movies going on with the DOJ and the SEC when it comes to crypto. Now guys, do not forget about the Fed repo at 953 billion. Yes, it's been going in the wrong direction. It's definitely been going up. Don't forget Janet Yellen is tapping that. And then we have Fed minutes today. And when Fed minutes come out at 2 o'clock, we know it's going to move the market. And then on top of it, guys, we have the holiday. Don't forget the stock market, FX, bond market, CME will be closed on Thursday. And that's going to bring liquidity into crypto. So make sure you get yourselves in position. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, do not forget about Grayscale. It's in about $23.7 billion. Now we have ARK and 21 shares update the spot Bitcoin ETF applications as next SEC deadline loan. And remember guys, Bitcoin moved up, Ethereum moved up, and the rest of the cryptos move up just off of news. We haven't had anything real come into the actual space. It was all off of news. And we know when you pump off news, you're definitely going to dump. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now we have Bittrex Global announces all trading will be disabled as it winds down operations December 4th, 2023. And of course, that's going to hurt crypto volume. And then we also have Mt. Gox, some of the creditors being paid out by end of year. Now we have Ethereum Layer 2 Kento migrates to the Arbitrum ecosystem. Also, we have Vega Protocol unveils decentralized perpetual futures on Layer 1 blockchain. Now, guys, I went over some of this last night. Make sure you go watch the video I did last night with Cardi B. But, guys, we have the SEC sues Kraken, a legend it violated security laws. And then we had Kraken CEO says that crypto projects should flee the U.S. After it settled with the SEC for $30 million, the SEC is coming back for seconds. And then we have the DOJ goes after Binance for $4 billion. 
And of course, guys, this article says BNB price pump. Why would it pump if the SEC sells with you for four billion? It would take Binance seven years to make four billion. Guys, we know this is all a movie. Why would BNB pump off of that? Guys, it's all an algorithm. Remember the crypto teacher told you. And guys, this is the biggest news that won't make the news. We are Definity Tap Singularity Net to bring AI services to DApps. And all the top AI developers and corporations say the Singularity Net is near. And guys, we know these robots, algorithms, and drones are about to take over this economy. And the sheep are about to go inside the metaverse if they don't wake up. I put an important video in the stock Patreon premium account. Because once that fourth industrial revolution switches flip, transhumanism is right around the corner. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Because he knows, when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books. Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Plus the three kids books. It's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks. The see with the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.